We are here at Franklin's General Store in Old Mystic Village, Mystic, Connecticut. Franklin's General Store is your classic, old-fashioned, kind of a country store where you can buy some gifts uh, that are popular throughout New England, but you need to have one product you can really hang your hat on, and uh, that, of course, is fudge. Our fudge counter is the feature point of our store, and it is definitely our primary source of revenue for this business. We're a million-dollar store, gross sales, and 320000 of that is fudge. I was a customer in Franklin's since its uh, inception in 1985. My wife and I grew up in Mystic. We always thought it would be nice to have a little store where we grew up in, in our hometown. And one day, I happened to be talking with a friend of mine who owns a small store. She happened to be neighbors and good friends with uh, Frank Davis, who actually put the store together. She told me that uh, Frank was her neighbor and he was looking to sell his store. My initial reaction was, that's the perfect store. A week later, we shook hands and well, since I bought the store from Frank, I inherited this great fudge business that he put together with Calico. When you come into our store, you can smell the fudge kettles working, and you can smell the, the sugar and cocoa in the air, and uh, first thing people always say is, oh, you smell that? And they go right over the fudge counter. We make a wonderful chocolate and mint swirled. When we make it, the smell of the mint just runs through the whole store. And believe it or not, right after that, people are buying mint. A typical customer is everybody, even people that say they don't eat sweets or buy fudge. Almost everybody takes a taste, and of almost everybody that takes a taste, about 70% buy. Have a taste of chocolate fudge? Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Impulse buying in retail is really important. People will always pick up something extra that they didn't have any intention of going into the store for probably accounts for 10% of all sales within a store. Fudge is the perfect, perfect vehicle for impulse buying. When people have a, a taste of fudge and enjoy in their day, not only do they buy the fudge, but it puts them in the mood to buy other things in our store. And uh, quite certainly, if we didn't have that fudge counter and offer tastes, our business would probably be uh, half of what it is. Fudge profit margin is very good. Uh, it's about um, 70%. You know, I've had other fudge vendors approach me uh, to offer similar products, but we've turned it down because the quality of Calico's, sugars and cocos, it's impeccable. It's the same every time. And since this is such a huge part of our business, we never want to gamble. So uh, we always use Calico and nothing, nothing else. You know, when you're trying to think of new ways to improve your business, you're always apprehensive about what can I do to make my business grow. I will tell you for sure, selling calico fudge is the right thing to do. It'll be a home run. Uh, a sign uh, in our store actually says 707,000 pounds sold to date. It has to be updated. It's actually about 750,000 pounds. But with uh, partnering with calico, uh, a million pounds is right around the corner.